What's Gucci? So at this point, I have now made 18 videos. And despite that fact, I still get all nervous and flustered whenever I have to get in front of the camera and record. And right about now, you're probably thinking to yourself, nervous? Bro, you are literally sitting alone by yourself friendless in solitary confinement banished to the shadow realm in your own room talking to your camera aka nobody what could you possibly be nervous about and first of all let me just say why'd you have to do me like that man like are you technically correct yeah but you didn't have to ether my whole existence in the process of pointing that out i'm about to end this man's whole career but at the end of the day you're right i'm sitting here by myself in the comfort of my own room talking to well, nobody. So why in the world do I feel nervous? Now, usually when I'm writing these scripts, I at least have some idea of where I want it to end up. Things don't always turn out as I planned, but I'll still try to have a predetermined destination nonetheless. But just a heads up, with this script, I'm kind of just winging it. The reason I'm writing this is because my last video took me way too long to record because I constantly felt like I had to redo virtually all of my lines. Exhibit A. So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my commitment to running is actually what led me straight into this tunnel? Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my commit? Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my commitment to running is actually what led me straight into this tunnel? Even though it's that original commitment. Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my? Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my commitment to running? Am I gonna continue to fixate on the fact that my commitment to running is actually what led me directly into this tunnel? And looking back, I think I was doing this because I felt like I had to deliver each line in just the right way with the perfect rhythm, expression, and intonation. But this obsession got so bad that my own words began to feel less and less natural to me. And the whole thing became almost performative, which kind of felt gross to me. Okay, maybe that's a little aggressive, but it was just annoying and tiring to have to perform my own script. Like the words, emotions, and concepts that I try to convey in these videos are all authentic to me. And so I like the delivery of these ideas ideas to be authentic as well. Like I don't want to have to put on this persona or this hyperbolic version of myself just to deliver my own genuine feelings. And so I wanted to write this script because after shooting that video, I started asking myself, okay, so how can I be more natural? And not just in front of a camera, but with all of my interactions with people in general. How do I be more authentic and genuine? And like I said earlier, I don't really have an answer to this. I don't really know where this script is gonna end up, but I figured I'd at least write about it and hopefully that'll get me somewhere. So if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I have this incessant, annoying, and probably deeply off-putting need to make everything existential, even when things really aren't that deep. So get ready to roll your eyes so hard you may actually knock yourself out. Because if I had to ask myself why I don't feel quote unquote natural in many of my interactions with people and especially in front of a camera, I'd have to say that it's probably because I don't really know who I am. Oh brother, this guy stinks! I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm the worst. I'm literally that guy, but just, just hear me out, okay? So the way I see it, it's like this. Basically, from the moment I started interacting with other human beings, I subconsciously began to adopt behaviors, mannerisms, speech patterns, etc., into my own nature. And no, I don't think I'm the only person that does slash did this. I just don't want to project my beliefs as a matter of fact, which is why I said I did this instead of we do this. But just for clarity, I do believe that we all do slash did this. And there's probably research out there either confirming or refuting this belief, but I'm just too lazy to look for it. Which is why I won't assert it as fact and instead just confirm it as my own personal experience. But anyway, all of those behaviors and mannerisms became a part of my nature. And over the course of 19 years, I subconsciously consolidated all of that information to create a sense of myself. And that sense of myself would subconsciously represent me in various interactions with people. So for example, if I meet someone new and they say hello, I wouldn't have to consciously think of a response. I would just subconsciously react in my own unique and particular way. And that unique and particular way was born of past experiences and interactions that I'd had with other people. Make sense? Okay, so if you've seen my other videos, you already know what happens next. But if you haven't, Basically, the long and short of it is, I went to college and in my second and third years, I developed some pretty harmful habits that forced me to drop out and prompted this decade-long hiatus from these types of interactions. Now, those harmful habits plus the 10-year-long break from interacting with people basically effaced all of that consolidated information 
that made up my sense of self. And so now if I meet someone new and they say hello, I genuinely have to pause and think for a second of how I should respond. What do I say? What does Fief Badaki say in these situations? Does he say hello? Does he say howdy? Does he say what up? Or does he say something absolutely cringe inducing like, what's Gucci? And so that's what I mean when I say, I don't really know who I am. Basically, I'm just saying that I completely forgot how I react or respond in these situations. I mean, literally just the other day, I had to go to the MVA to do some car stuff. No, I didn't get a ticket. Why would you even think that? Okay, but I did get pulled over, but that's besides the point. Anyway, as I was leaving, I held the door open for this random lady. Now, as you'd expect, when she saw me holding the door open for her, she was very polite and she said, thank you. And in that moment, my brain short circuited because I knew I had to respond with something, but I am so severely unpracticed in these situations that I didn't know exactly what to say. And so I responded with an abrasive and frankly, probably very disconcerting, yes, She said, thank you. And I said, yes. Bro. I was mortified. Yeah, I know it's not that big of a deal, but if I put myself in her shoes and someone held the door open for me, and when I said, thank you, they responded with an extremely awkward, Yes, I'd be laughing. I would laugh and think to myself, dang, this man really doesn't know how to interact with other human beings. Dang, this man's heart really skipped a beat because someone said thank you to him. Dang, this grown man might actually be a socially illiterate seven-year-old trapped in a 29-year-old's body. Okay, maybe I'm going off. I probably wouldn't laugh that loud and maybe I wouldn't even think any of that stuff, but I'd definitely be confused. I'd definitely at least think to myself, wait, what? Did this guy just say yes after I said thank you to him? That's not correct. And then I'd probably just forget about it. But speaking as the guy who said yes in response to a thank you, no, I haven't forgotten about it. And I don't think I ever will. And I know some people might equate this to saying thanks, you too, to a flight attendant or a waiter after they say, enjoy your flight or enjoy your meal. But I think this is different because I think more often than not in those situations, people mistakenly say that because they're just on autopilot, not necessarily because they're inexperienced or unpracticed in social situations like this guy. I think it helps to think about all of this like a video game. Like imagine you have this character that you've been growing and developing for 19 years and you have all of these experience points saved up. And then all of a sudden one day, you just stop playing. Keep in mind that literally everybody else on this planet is still playing this game, but for whatever reason, you stopped. And not only did you stop, you accidentally deleted your save file. So all of those experience points that you accumulated over 19 years of playing the game are just gone. But now, 10 years later, for whatever reason, you pick the game back up and you try to start playing again. Again, everybody else has been playing the game this entire time, but now you're 29 years old, starting a brand new game, building a whole new character. And so to bring it all back, I think the reason that I sit here for hours, talking to my camera, doing take after take of my own lines from my own script, is because I don't actually know how my character, how Fief Badaki, would deliver those lines. And I think that's why that even after 18 videos, recording still feels unnatural, disingenuous, and inauthentic. Because I haven't figured out my character yet. I don't have enough experience points. And ultimately, I think that's part of what this whole video making process is about for me. To offer a way for me to get those experience points and figure myself out. Because I can't really just launch myself into random social situations that would force me to interact and grow anymore because of, you know, the pandemic. Not that I'd really want to anyway. If you've seen my dating apps and why I'm bad at them video, you know why. I'm not particularly funny, witty, charming, or even interesting. But all in all, making videos essentially gives me a safe space to develop my nature that will hopefully translate into my interactions with actual human beings. You know, whenever we're allowed to do that kind of stuff again. Oh, and speaking of things that should never be allowed, this. What's Gucci? And with that, Think we're gonna end this one. Like I said, I didn't really have a destination when I started this script, but I'm pretty satisfied with how it's turned out so far. So I'm just gonna quit while I'm ahead before I ruin it. But if you made it this far, 
thank you so much for hearing me out. I don't know if you have some of these thoughts about who you really are or your sense of self, but if you do, I sincerely hope that you figure yourself out. Putting these pieces together is a tiring, tedious, and tumultuous process, but it can also be extremely rewarding at times. And I genuinely hope that you get to experience that if you haven't already. But anyway, with that said, I wish you all the very best going forward. Take care of yourself, be easy, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.